Firstly, please excuse my attire. I just landed back from America and I'm very, very tired. So I got a little bit comfy. But you should as well, because this is a long one. You see, Sam and Colby recently released the first episode of their Hell Week. This is a four-part series where they stay for a week in The Conjuring House. By far one of the most haunted places in America, if not the world. This is my reaction to the first episode. And it is possibly the most profound and concrete bit of evidence of paranormal activity I have ever seen. Without even being there with the guys, this has completely changed my worldview. It is extraordinary. But I'll leave you to see my in-the-moment reaction. And if you do enjoy it, please feel free to subscribe because I'll be watching every other episode of the series on my stream as well. And although I'd love you to come and check it out live and experience it with me, if for whatever reason you can't, then there is not a worry. Subscribing here means you never miss the upload of VODs. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. Let's just watch the Sam and Colby video, shall we? Glad to be seven months. Also, thoughts on Fanta taking your bit so, of what the manifold for their what the Fanta. Did Fanta Jay. do that? Manifold legal will deal with it. Anyway, let's not wait around. I want to watch this video. I want to see. I, I've never actually seen anything about the Conjuring House before. I was I know of the movie series and stuff, but I like I genuinely don't know. I I I know it's based on a true story, no, and I know that this movie's about it. Hi, That's Jack, all I, I know. I've never well. even seen the house. Haven't been able to tune in since I started uni. Well, I'm glad you've been able to tune in now, my friend, because this is a big one. But yeah, that, this is what I was gonna say. Have a bright thing for the two one. This is what I was gonna say. As you guys know, I'm the king of watching ghost sighting videos and debunking them, or saying whether I think they're real. Uh, I am. Le probably more of a skeptic than Sam and Colby, but I'm less of a skeptic than I have ever been. Uh, I've had my own experience as some with Sam and Colby that are just too profound for me not to believe, as well as just family sort of stories and, and such, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not, I, I'd say I believe in the paranormal, but I also believe very heavily in people's ability to fake things. I don't think Sam and Colby do, having met them, but... I never put it past anyone. The first ghost sighting video I ever did. We, I'll admit, I snuck I in a little. I haven't watched it, so I could scares. experience it with you in chat. I appreciate you holding off, Dick Paulson. Anyway, let's begin, shall we? We are attempting to stay one week at the official Conjuring House. This is crazy. <laughs> Bro, I have never seen something like that before. Something about the basement is following us. What is this house? The broken table is now the officially part of the Canon Manifold Della universe. You ruined my joke, Corvid. Corvid, you spoke over my Now now the delivery wasn't as good. And now I feel bad for him because he was crying. You know, he was crying and all this stuff. Nathan, thank you for the three months. He's crying and all this stuff, and I, I made a joke and it didn't even land. But if the joke landed, it would have been worth it. It didn't even land. I'll do the joke again, so maybe it can <laughs> land. Bro, I have never seen something like that before. Something about the basement is following us. <sighs> what is this house? The Conjuring House. There. Did it land better? I th I th it felt like it landed better the second time. It felt like it landed better the second time, I'm going to be honest. Mute me then. All right, COVID. I, I will do from now on. Okay, it kind of did land. Boo. Don't boo me. Don't throw tomatoes at me and shit. I thought it was good. Anyway, but we'll move on. Do you guys understand this could like change millions of people's lives? This is what she warned us about. That is the fucking shit. Well, that was pretty. That was if that was real, that was pretty concrete proof of something. Fucking hell. That was, that was quite intense. That actually, you know what, I'm, I'm going to say it. That freaked me out a little bit. That makes me believe in all of this. Do you need a break? Yeah. Oh, bless him. I actually, uh, now I feel bad because whatever happened was probably quite intense. We're never <laughs> That's a I sick intro. I honestly was about to type it. Thank you. I appreciate you enjoying the joke. That is, uh... Never doing this again. What's up, guys? It's Sam McColby. And welcome to Hell Week. <laughs> I fucking love that. I love that so much. Just just going from that fucking intense intro, straight face on a fucking Ferris wheel to... Uh, Ferris wheel? Fucking 
what's that thing? Ferris wheel's the one that goes, uh, it, like, it, it's like, that one goes up vertically, and then the uh, carousel is, is, is horizontal. That makes sense. I think that makes sense. I actually think that makes sense. I'm going to turn down the text-to-speech. I think what I'm going to do is have the alerts on, but no text-to-speech. We're going to be spending one entire week at the Conjuring House because you guys got us to 10 million subscribers. This is so youtube and jovial compared to, like, the shit we just saw for the first minute. That's so funny. This is going to be the worst week of our lives. I'm terrified. I'm actually shaking in my boots. That was a converse. Oh, it's Annabelle. I know that much. I know that Annabelle is a uh, fucking one of those dolls. I forget what they're called right now off the top of my head. Uh, but it's the same doll that that one guy from Bizarre Bub has that I'm fully convinced. He's the only person that I'm absolutely 100% convinced lives in a haunted house. Like, without without any shadow of a doubt. That, uh, Raggedy Ann. Thank you. Um... Yeah, that fella from a, uh, I forget, I'm, I'm blanking on his name right now, but like he has like a daughter, he's like a single dad, you know. Dick Borson, thank you for putting Bobby. I don't think that's right though. Why are we doing this? I hate this. Why are we doing this? I hate it. Seven days? Seven days. This is by far the scariest thing we've ever done, hands down on our channel. You guys, we might. I think staying in a place like that for seven days, you know what would get me? I think whenever I've done ghost hunting, the relief of knowing that I will leave when I want to is very good, you know what I mean? Can you move chat a little? Sure. Uh, like, the relief of knowing that I, I I can just leave is, like, good. Like, that that's the thing. Like, I know I go home, I, I do a little cleanse, and, and, like, everything's left behind. But I feel like, 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 you know, you do your hunt, and when you're done with your hunt, you leave, you go home, you sleep in a safe environment. I think the idea that you're, like, hunting and then you're like all right let's call it for the day and sleep and then things could still be happening and you're still in this sort of weird environment like sleeping overnight in a haunted place is something that i think i'd really struggle to do i almost did it in vegas but we ended up not but i think uh, if i can ever find the courage i want to do that because i think that that is like the next step to me like staying overnight in a place I die, but the reason why we're doing this is for you guys. All right, 10 million subscribers. Come on. Thank you. That is huge. And to be honest, it's just my Very proud of me. that we were even able to hit this number in the first place. That's like, an insane number. 10 million? It's unreal. Four minutes away. Ah! Okay. It's, it's a bittersweet moment because it's like, yeah, we got 10 million subscribers. But we're three minutes away from the Gondring house. <laughs> <sighs> Yes. This looks so different. Private property. Oh my God, look at all the new signs. There's new owners, guys. Oh my God. Uh Other people bought, I mean, to be fair, it does have like one of the biggest horror movie franchises of all time attached to it. That probably, I feel like owning this place is probably a money maker. Never mind. My brain's like, mm, I would never buy this place. It seems very haunted. Capitalism. There you are. Oh, we are back. No. As soon as we step outside, we are beginning a seven day journey. My heart just accelerated so fast. Yeah, you're resting I'm heart. scared, I'm scared. Welcome, hi Colby. Hi, oh, Sam. Sam. Nice to meet you, Jacqueline. Pleasure. Are you nervous at all to be here? Uh, Let me move this up to the second Nice to meet you, Jacqueline. Oh, then, she's the new owner. Are you owner. nervous at all to be here? Uh, 100%, yeah. I mean, seven days is completely <laughs> different That's than just like one. Oh, they, they literally, yeah, it was definitely a moneymaker. They literally, like, are wearing, like, uniforms. They, they fucking run this shit. Has anybody Girl, stayed this Cole, long I'm before? Party. Girlfriend, no. Tori. Nice to meet, nice you. meet you. Hi, Hi, Sam. Nice to meet you, Satori. So we've had film crews in, but they've never been here, like, okay. like for an entire week. So oh, this God. is going to be a new experience. So we're the first to do that. Yeah, but it's awesome. A lot it happens all the time. People are being touched, their hair is being pulled, oh God. whispering in ears. Lots of doors opening Lots and doors. Closed. You know what? These people are fucking ballsy, aren't they? They own this place, meaning they possibly sleep here. I don't know. I wouldn't, personally. But they... They might. Uh, and they work here every day. They just put up with this every day and they're fucking unfazed. So, ah, oh, yeah, sometimes shit pulls you here, you hear whispering and shit, but like, ah, eh, job's a job, you know? You work in retail, buddy. I mean, it, you know, same shit might happen. Fucking rowdy customers pulling on you and shit. I mean, 
That's how they see it. Opening, disembodied voices. Even during day tours, which is amazing. We had that one tour where people were staying a little past time and they were staying a little longer and the door unlocked to this front door and opened and everybody in the room was like, I think they're telling us it's time to go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> all the time, all the time. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that there was like a, a, a pretty concrete meaning behind that. Lexi May, thank you for the prime. Uh, and the two guides of a new we method. We have hundreds show. of okay. hours of video. Said so, and the two guides of a new method to show us tonight, just in case my face cam covered that. Footage of conversations that we've been able to have with spirits. Yeah. One thing that we know is that the spirits of the house prepare for every guest that comes in. We don't know how. We don't know why. Hey, up King. I hope Vegas was fun. More money to the Jetman Fold Hotel. Ta what? There was no table. I don't know what you're talking about, but I will take your money happily. Whatever, a fund that is in my name is great. Thank you, Mystic Foxy Wolf. But there has been a special request that one of the spirits would love to talk to you tonight. So if you guys are open and... <laughs> Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, whoa. 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 So, so Cody and Satori. We figured out this method that we could do when we first met each other. Everyone in the room can hear what's going on. Okay. We're not mediums per se. Like, we can't sense anything, but just something strange happens. We would love if you guys would be willing. One of the spirits wants to say something to you. Wait, do you know which one? There we are. You're getting it now. There was no broken table. Yeah, Abigail Arnold. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm go we're already getting invited. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. We're Let's being so summoned back into the house. Perfect. Like Abigail is a, a cool ghost, right? Abigail is an awesome spirit. Yes. We'd yeah. love to talk You're to gonna her. You're going to learn a lot about Abigail, I think. Yeah, I want to. I, I, I don't know the law. I'm hoping they kind of explain who the different spirits are. Cause I'll be honest, I don't know them. Like I know of the Conjuring franchise and I know, I, I know about Annabelle. That's like it though. Like I really, I don't know anything really. Two rules for Hell Week. Number one, we got to stay somewhere on this property every single night for a week. Secondly, we can each write a challenge for the other person that we cannot refuse. We can oh, spring fun. it on them on any day of the week. Spoiler alert, the killer gets them. No, fuck off! The killer, the killer's been apprehended. TwitchCon security sorted out the killer when I was on the floor. But we have to say yes. It... Uh, each gets one challenge to assign the other to complete. Whatever that means. <laughs> That's terrifying. That is horrifying. Feel a little different. It feels way different. I don't like this already. It just brings back memories. I just have not great memories here. Maybe we'll have better memories this yes, time. That's what we hope. We'll spend a lot more time here, so it can't all be bad, right? Right? No, she think the prime. Yeah, it's the same waiver. Yeah. yeah. Is this the one that has like the demonic yeah, possession? possession. Yeah. Attachments. Beautiful. That's crazy. You got to sign a waiver. It's like it's not our responsibility if you get fucking possessed, mate. You came in here. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna give our signature one more time for the conjuring house the last time. Yeah, what happened to our other signature, man? Uh, they said they cover it up with the refrigerator. Jesus, man. Wow, okay. <laughs> for the conjuring house the last time. Yeah, what happened to our other signature, man? Uh, they said they cover it up. Oh, they just fit, they just like did like a full like... I guess there was just a room that people signed the walls of, but then they wallpapered it, I'm guessing. That makes sense. I mean, it seems kind of weird to allow people to sign the, the walls in that place. Greg's here, thank you for the prime. That does seem strange. With the refrigerator. Jesus, man. Wow, okay. You're going <laughs> to sign my name too for me? Thanks. You signed my name last day. Did I? Yeah. Should I do years capital? Actually, that would actually have been very nice, but apparently it's Sam and Colby. What the hell is <laughs> that? <laughs> Sam and Colby. What is that? Sam and Cole. The B. That. That's beautiful. Come find our signature. We're going to get covered by the goddamn door. <laughs> yeah. oh, we God. just suck. Why, why are we doing this? No. <laughs> wow. Time to take it to her. Nice throw. Everything is different in here. I, I don't know if like the lights are the same. They moved whatever this thing is around. I think this furniture was over there before. Wasn't an Annabelle doll right here? Yeah. Weird that they like rearranged the place to me. Like I feel like, 
If the whole point is like you're you're owning this house because you know it's haunted by spirits, you surely do the best to cater for them and just leave it the way they like it. You'd think. Yes. It had this sign on it, but it was a bigger one. I think that's how it is in the actual War Museum. Which you guys want to see us go to? We might have to visit the real Annabelle doll after this and get the whole conjuring experience. I think let's deal with that room later. Go upstairs first. I just don't like being right here. This. Wait, so the re was the real Annabelle doll in this house at some point and has been moved to a museum? Because that seems interesting. Surely it would just stay in the house. Or do I just not know? Oh, no, never. Wait, people are saying no. Okay. How? So how is Annabelle tied to The Conjuring? Is it just that the franchise got big and they bought another true story to make a movie about? Uh, through our research, uh, 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 oh yeah, just like unrelated story to the actual Conjuring story it appears, but huh, it was a gift to the house, uh, unless I'm wrong. Warrens did both cases. The the Warrens, oh, I can't. The Warrens investigated both The Conjuring House and Annabelle. Right. Okay. 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 It was using the movie because of The Warrens. Makes perfect sense. It's too close to the basement. We gotta get out. Oh yeah, that is the basement right there. The old Arnold Estate, aka The Conjuring House, was built in 1680, finished in 1736. This house has seen almost 400 years of American history and has ultimately become one of the most famously haunted locations in America. In the world, more like, I think. I think it's one of the most famous in the world. I can't think of a more... Like, if I think haunted house, I go, oh, The Conjuring Place. But anyway, either way... 400 years in American terms is like fucking centuries, bro. Like, uh, uh, wait. <laughs> this is what I mean by I'm sleep deprived. Yes, 400 years is centuries. I meant millennia. I meant millennia. Yes, it is actually. Th that is literally what centuries are, Jack. You fucking idiot. A century is 100 years. I meant millennia. Uh, because like. I feel like Americans will be like, dude, this house is over 100 years old. And everyone will be like, because, I mean, nowadays probably not because like finally we're at a point where it has been about 100 years since half of America's houses were built. But um, like pretty like so much of America's housing was done in the 50s, right? Like so much. So like it's weird for a house to be over uh, 100 years old. Where in the UK, like, mate, my old house was 400 years old. Well, I lived in with Scott's Major, right? Like, uh, uh, 100 years old is nuts. No, it's not. Like, the, the majority of UK homes, I would say, are well over 100 years old. Easily. Me and Scott lived... I mean, um, we lived in an old house, to be fair. Like, an old, old house. But, like, still, like, 400 years is not as crazy as you think. The hauntings of the Conjuring House could have started way back during the King Philip's War, which was the bloodiest war per capita on American soil. Also, this property uh -huh. had eight generations of families who lived and died on this land. And finally, if you've seen the Conjuring movie, you might have heard of the parents, a family who lived here for almost a decade, experiencing the worst paranormal manifestations. The most notable event here occurred on October 30th, 1974, where Ed Lorraine Warren, the world's uh -huh. most famous demonologists, conducted the most notorious seance of all time and this seance actually occurred right here in this room this is where carolyn perrin levitated and was thrown 20 feet by a negative entity and they got a fucking jpeg of it back then i mean it wasn't a jpeg but you, you're telling me they got a picture of it that's wild i mean don't get me wrong if they're the world's most famous demonologist they probably have the budget to fake something like this i'm gonna i'm already calling like, I don't doubt that this place is possibly haunted. And I think that's why these demonologists caught wind of it. But, I'm, it's not a real pick, it's fake. Oh yeah, I guess I'm like, I, 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 that does look like it's from The Exorcist. I am, again, very tired. I'm like, yeah, that does look like that one scene from The Exorcist. Still. Still. Then, I don't know, man. Just, hmm.
It's a fake picture, it is. Since then, this house has become open for paranormal investigations, quickly becoming the most famous spot to investigate because of how active it is. There's been reports of poltergeist activity, haze and mist randomly appearing, and shadow figures. Fuck hell. Maddie. You missed the first 10 minutes, so you're watching both episode one and two, or just the first one? Probably just one, because I just got back from America. I'm so tired. Uh, I'm busy tomorrow, but the day afterwards, we'll carry on with episode two. Well, doors open and close, lights flicker, and negative emotions are amplified here. Our goal this I kind of like, the thing I like about these two, the, well, not the thing I, I, I like, I do like them. But the, the thing that makes me think they're legit, right? The poltergeist activity, haze and mist randomly appearing, and shadow figures. Those are crazy, right? Like, those are crazy. But I feel like when we watch, like, the Bizarre Bub videos, people try and claim that people are getting dragged through fucking rooms and that there's, like, physical fucking apparition. You know, like, so much. And, like, they're kind of saying, like, Poltergeist activity, Haze and Mist, and Shadow Figures. All of which are things that I think, personally, are real. Shadow Figures was the one that I was a bit skeptical about. But I've seen so many like videos of it at this point that I honestly do think are real that I'm beginning to consider it. And I also know people who may have seen them themselves. I, I personally haven't. But like, yeah, I it doesn't feel exaggerated. Like if it, like those things as like as much as they sound quite basic, are fucking crazy. Like if, if Hayes and Mist just appears in a place, that's crazy. Paul guys, obviously. Like, I feel like these are, in my opinion, the most extreme end of like the paranormal and yeah all right yes. we're told doors open and close lights i see hands that aren't there so i'm used to it that sounds like a maybe something that's more diagnosable than paranormal i i, I hate to break it to you if you just see hands all the time um I, i'm 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 not even trying to be rude i'm just being dead serious um well uh. Flicker and negative emotions are amplified here. Our goal this week is to truly understand who is haunting this location. And specifically... Lil Knock? What the fuck was that? And specifically, what do they want with us? I don't know, just to like be friends and shit. You're pretty cool. So I'm Jack Willanuna. Jake Kiki, thank you for the uh, one. owner of The Conjuring House. You know, I didn't have any paranormal experience when I bought the house, but I do have a deep dive for years into the spiritual aspect of things. So I'm a uh -huh. big believer that we are spiritual beings having a human experience, that our consciousness survives death. The Conjuring House provides us an opportunity to connect with the consciousness of people that have passed on and that we can engage with and have conversations with them. So that's really what interested me. This it's not just uh -huh. knocks, it's actually having conversations with spirits and learning things from them. We fully believe that the energy that you bring to here will be amplified and given back to you. Okay. So if you come here and you are fearful or think that they're all evil, then they might respond that way. If you come here and you're open and you're, you know, loving might be a strong word, but if you're just open to communicating with them and respectful, then they'll respond in kind to that as well. Hmm. That lines up with everything I think. Well, maybe, no, no, no. Sorry, maybe not the. I don't know what. The, no, it doesn't. But like everything I think about the paranormal is what I meant. It also um, it gave me a thought, but I can't remember what it was. As we started to explore no, the house, we heard something rolling upstairs. upstairs. Oh, the knocking thing. I always find that interesting. You know, sometimes like I've got all this ghost hunt, hunting equipment, and I know these boys do as well. Uh, and how sometimes these don't work, but like you can get something to knock on something really easily. And I think the reason in my head is because um, obviously these are spirits that have been around since, you know, the 1700s or whatever. And if they've been trying to communicate since then, then it's, it's just what they're used to, you know, devices didn't exist. Listen, listen. Something's upstairs right there. Something's rolling. This is the room with all the toys, where the birthing room is and those dolls. Birthing room? Guys, we're gonna save the basement for later. I know a lot of people wanna see us go down there again, but guys, we're here for a week. Let us work our way to it, and then Sam will stay there overnight. What the f <laughs> Just off the bat? We're going from nothing to I'm just sitting down there alone? I was there alone last time. Yeah, but not for like a whole night. You didn't sleep there. So that means you have to, so you can one-up me, right? Oh my God, it looks like he actually did it. 
I mean, oh, I mean, has to do the challenge. Did you see that? That light just flickered. Maybe that's a sign. Come on. Did he catch the flicker on? Jay Kinky, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, you legend! Thank you very much. Thank you for 50 today. That's crazy, that's dude. Crazy, dude. I did flicker did a little bit, that? actually. That's alright. That light just flickered. Maybe that's a sign. Come on upstairs. I hate it up here. This is oh. possibly just a sign of shoddy wiring, Sam. I'm on to you, boys. You told me there was crazy shit in this video, alright? I'm not settling for shoddy wiring. Oh, God. There. Oh, no way. There are two Raggedy Ann dolls right here. Fuck that. Every single time. I've said this before. And that just flickered. You're See, right. That's what I'm saying. It is. There. Oh, no way. There are two Raggedy Ann dolls right here. Fuck that. Every single time. I've said this before. And that just flickered. You're right. That's what I'm saying. I remember when we did the tour last episode, this light was flickering. What I was saying is every single time I walk upstairs, I genuinely feel like I'm going to throw up. It's happened both times we've been here. Not like I'm actually going to blow chunks, but my stomach just hurts. So is this where we're... <laughs> Fucking blow chunks. Blow chunks is one of the fucking funniest phrases ever. I'd never heard it before. And then there was that fucking one clip of that guy like raging at games like, Son of a biscuit eater, man. This guy blows chunks. It's the first time I've ever <laughs> kid named chunks. All right, let's carry on. Sleeping tonight? Speaking of, we're going to sleep in the same room every night, right? Uh, well, yeah, you want to cuddle? I think that's the only way I would. to do these ghosts is if we're like really close. I think so. That's flickering behind me, right? No. Or am I tripping? No, you're tripping. Oh, fuck. I'm getting scared already, man. Bro, I, dude, I'm not even gonna- I would have to cuddle with my boys to survive something like this. It's the only way. Oh, it's raining. God, I've missed the sound of rain. I haven't seen rain in so long. It's nice. Alive. As soon as we walked up to the stairs and got to the top. Blow chunks means throw up, by the way. Sorry, I probably should explain. It's like it's a different vibe. Hey, little dollies. How about this? When we go to sleep, each one of us gets to sleep with a Raggedy Ann doll right next to him. I don't know if that will make me feel better. You don't think so? She got the cash. Someone slipped it in like a stripper, dude. Should you say that to the Conjuring House potentially haunted dolls? Should you compare them to strippers? I feel like that's possibly inappropriate. I would... Maybe be too scared to even say it. Jeez. That's probably not a good idea. Yeah, you can't. I am so sorry. Don't take the ghost's cash, dude. I am so sorry. That is blinking. That just blinked. Dude, every single light has freaked out when we walked into the room. We gotta ask them if that's a thing. But even during our interview, the lights would also flip. This is better. That's better. All right. I kind of, like, to me, if I was to you know, put on my little paranormal cap. That that seems to me like a spirit kind of just reminding them of its presence at all time. It's like kind of following him into rooms and being like, I'm still with you. You know what I mean? That's how that seems to me. It's freaking out. Someone's saying hi. Or someone's saying hi. Oh, we were gonna ask. On our tour, we had a lot of light flickerings. Is that just something that happens or is there electrical problems here? I mean, we don't really have many electrical problems. Could have been, but sometimes that's just how they say hi. This is the thing, right? This is the thing where, where again, though, my I, 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 I know I was just saying it could be a spirit greeting them, and it totally could. But also, like, if you've got lights flickering all the time, then how do you, how, like, and, and, and you know that, how do you go, yeah, we don't really get any electrical problems. Like, you could just be having electrical problems all the time if this is a thing that happens a lot. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah, it's very weird that it happens only in rooms people are entering and stuff, but like, you could just have electrical, like, you can't just say with confidence, no, we don't get those. Because, I mean, it looks like we're looking at them, you know? I, I don't know. Like, this is one of those times where, I'm sure, again, Sam and Colby told me there's going to be crazy shit, and I'm sure there is. I really don't doubt this place, but I think sometimes I doubt the things people attribute to the paranormal. I think that's what it is. And this one is kind of a 50-50 a for me. Can you oh my God. Make it blink. How about one more time? What? It's strange it did it on command though, I'll give you that. I can't even wrap my mind around what this is gonna be like. At 3 a.m., 4 a.m., cameras are off. There's no more filming to do. We don't have like the safety or the protection or whatever, like this comforting feeling of holding a camera is. It's just gonna be us and our thoughts. And one bed for both of us. That would freak me out, yes. Not sharing a bed, sorry. Like, like the, the comfort of a camera is so real. Like, I feel like 
there's something about filming or being filmed in an uncomfortable situation that makes it feel more tolerable because uh, it makes it all feel like a big bit of make-believe, you know? Like, it makes it feel less real. Um, and, like, yeah, taking that away is awful. Also, Envy does art. Thank you for the 17 months. Haven't been able to watch the stream in months. Glad to be back. I'm glad you're back indeed. It smells like sage down here. Oh! This brings back memories, too. Jeez, dude. This is what I consider the safe room. Oh, no, it just feels safer. It's like, it's a kid. Oh! oh, fuck, dude. What the Robert! hell? That is Robert. What the fuck? No! Oh, God, man. He got so loud. Bro, I genuinely thought he found, like, a decapitated head. Like, I thought he'd seen, like, some fucking, like, Bloody Mary type shit. Like, like a spirit that was just fucking evil looking and covered in blood. He screamed so loud. What I consider the safe room. Oh, no, it just feels safer. It's like, it's a kid. No! Like, like, that's horror. That's horror oh, on his face. Dude. Wait, no, wait. I want you just to witness the horror on his face. Like, in slow mo That's fear, bro! There's no way! It's Robert! That- I mean, that was primal. Oh, oh fuck, dude! What the Robert. hell? That is Robert! What the fuck? No! Oh, God, no! Robert the doll! No! Oh, no, he got away from that guy! Yeah, I thought, uh, I thought Robert- yeah, I, I've heard of Robert. I remember a, a guy in school telling me about him. But yeah, he's a doll that you have to ask for permission to take a picture or video of. Uh, and if he doesn't give you permission, then you get badly cursed for doing so. Apparently. is is That's the, uh, it's the Robert, Robert story. Robert is following us. No. That is not good. What happened with Robert? We took pictures of him, and then he gave me cancer. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, to be fair, that that's rough. I was about to say, well, they've gotten away with it. I actually, I, I kind of, uh, I, I temporarily forgot about the whole cancer thing. Um, you know what, though? Can I say this? Fucking harsh from Robert. Because let's face it, they, it, it's Sam and Colby. You know, they, they go they go doing the filming together. You know, I feel, it feels kind of harsh to give one of them cancer and let the other one just like... I'm not saying I wish cancer on both of them. That's not quite what I'm getting at. But, um... I mean, it does seem a little, you know. Either way, I know I know Colby's doing better now, though. So, but yeah, it feels a little harsh from Robert, in my opinion. Don't give him cancer again. No, guys, we cannot push that narrative. But a lot of people say that that was the reason why I was diagnosed. Well, hopefully. I know a lot of people genuinely. Say, yeah, no, I don't think he actually got given cancer by a doll. By the way. It's also just kind of playing into it. I, I suppose if they're giving a disclaimer, so should I. That's um, not the same Robert. And if it is, uh, we're very sorry. Yeah, Robert, we're not going to film you or take your picture. Shit. <laughs> right there at this Shit. table, we learned the Estes method. And then secondly, right ah. here, I saw a man in the window. I was right outside by those rocks. Didn't you say the man had a top hat too? I don't know. He was a full on silhouette and you could see that's the outline crazy. of his shoulder and everything. And that was when That's that's the type of shit that I usually doubt. Like I, I would usually put my finger on like that being someone stood in the house. That is crazy. You were in the house alone. I remember. Yeah, we might have to recreate that today. Let's see what they got for dinner tonight. Fuck yeah. Dude, we're gonna be fine, man. We got ketchup, Pepsi. What else do we need? We don't need anything. It's all our calories. It's just Yeah, Pepsi. Get, make some Kepsi, bro. Get that Kepsi going. That shit'll keep you fueled for days. <laughs> That's all we drink. Oh, I remember reading about a story where Cindy Perrin, one of the daughters, was late for the bus, right? And she was running from the kitchen. Mmm. Did you see that? No, what the fuck was that? Uh, the, all the lights flickered in the what? sales room. I swear to God, I swear to God. I did, wait, maybe wait, wait, I got wait. it on ca camera. Dude, as you were talking about Cindy Perrin running over here. She ran into an entity. That's what I was about to say. And while I was saying that, this just all flickered. So she ran into it and hit it so hard that it knocked her back. She passed out for two days. Oh, wait, dude. Jesus that's... Christ. So a fucking Mike Tyson fucking entity you, you, you're dealing with in here. They got fucking Mike Tyson's spirit haunting this place. Throwing fucking knockout punches. God damn. Storm straight. Thank you for the prime. This, this is what we were thinking of. Oh. Oh, God. I just don't like that. Oh, is that the real Anna? Is that the real Annabelle? Annabelle is going to be staring at us. So she's... 
Wait, so is that really Annabelle or is that not Annabelle? That's not Annabelle. Annabelle's at a fucking museum, right? It's a replica of Annabelle. Makes sense. I think we should hang out right here. I don't think we should hang out in this house. I still... Well, we gotta be... I find it so interesting, the positively do not open thing. Like, that's such a... You know, also, someone slipped more money in there. Why do people keep giving them money? What what's that about? Is there a is there a fucking like what's the is there a reason for that? Offerings for not to curse them? What like give them a bit, what are they using it on? You know, I get people give offerings, but I always figured offerings had to have a bit more significance than money because you know spirits can't exactly well use it. But maybe the the whole point is that you could and yet you're giving it up to them. Maybe it's that. Here for a week. We have to be here for a fucking week, yeah. Why are we doing this? Because we hit 10 million subscribers, dude. Yeah, thank you. We're overjoyed. <laughs> the main thing about this room is that this was where, on October 1974, they were having that crazy seance with the Warrens, and Carolyn Perrin levitated right here, spun around four times like a frisbee, and then, boom, got launched that way 20 feet into the wall. Like a frisbee? <laughs> She's spinning like a cut. Whee! No. That might have been an exaggeration. Like a frisbee's story. rough, well, to be fair, mate. They actually thought she died. They thought she died. Roger, her husband, got up to check on her. Ed held him back, and he turned around and punched him in the face. What's even more amazing about Re this... To be fair, if my wife's been... My wife, if my wife has... <laughs> if my wife has been thrown 20 fucking feet across a room, and someone tries to stop me going over and checking on her, I'm, I'm chinning him as well, to be fair. He's getting battered. That's silly. Like, of course you're gonna go check on it. I don't give a shit. That's silly. This time that we're here at the Conjuring House is tomorrow. We are going to be able to interview Andrea Perrin, a family member and an eyewitness to this very seance that happened in 1974. Wow. She said it was way, way, way darker what actually happened in real life. And we're gonna get to figure out exactly that. Most active spirit. And then there's Abigail Arnold. She lived here a long time ago and now... I don't want to laugh at this picture, but that is, uh... <laughs> I mean, you know... <laughs> Sorry, I just, uh... I would... You'd love to, like, be like, Wow, what great... What a nice... She has, but there's just no features. There's... It, 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 it's... <laughs> There's just absolutely no... F uh, you can, like, roughly make out a face if you squint. You know? Roughly. Oh, helps protect people from negative entities. Oh, I'm taking the Udi off. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm actually kind of warm now. It just feels inappropriate to be in a Minecraft creeper Udi right now. But also, like, look at this thing. It's, it's like a dress. But, but nice. Well, apologies. Um, like a dress, but nice. Dresses can be nice. I mean, like, comfort. Um, I don't know why I meant. I'm just gonna kind of have it as like a blanket. It was even rumored that this entity would tuck the parent children in bed at night and then kiss them on the forehead. You wow. said Abigail Arnold nice. wanted to talk to Sam and I specifically? It's nothing to be worried about or concerned about. Abigail is a kind, kind soul. And I think you are going to realize that immediately when She's it's like freaking out right now, guys. It's insane. Part That's so interesting. I feel like is to help the spirit. I, I do find the light flickering interesting, by the way. I feel like I, I shit on it a bit when, you know, but I feel like you shouldn't write off the possibility that it is just an electrical fault in this old ass house. You know, that's all. Spirits be understood. And I think that for a long time they have felt misunderstood, mm. right? Because there are so many kind, loving spirits that are here. I just think she wants to connect with you because she knows who you are and just maybe give you a little bit of assurance about her and them and John. And But it's, it's nothing to be afraid of. Do you mean she could possibly serve as a protector? She definitely has. And at times she has been the protector of people in the basement. Sometimes when people have heard get out, out, mm -hmm. It's actually her protecting. And I literally <laughs> Interesting. Like Ten times. That night when we were finishing up filming on the couch, something very bizarre began to happen.
Done. See? Whoa. Didn't that sound like it weird. mocked me? It's like an echo. Hey. See? See? Hello? Oh, it's only on Colby. Hey. What the fuck? That is weird. Now. This is where I put on my little physics cap and and say Colby has a much bassier voice than Sam and bassier tones can sometimes echo a little bit differently. So it might be the fact that just he has that sort of perfect resonance that echoes and 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 Sam doesn't. Um but it's weird. Wait, we're in a house. How is it echoing like that far away? It's coming from behind you. Really? I hear it over there? Huh? What the fuck? Wait, it's coming that way for you guys? It's coming in the kitchen for me. Hello, hello? Didn't have one that time. Hello, hello? Say it one more time. Hi! What the it's fuck? It's not happening. Well, that's because that was a high-pitched thing. Again, like, I'm, not, I'm not trying to debunk it, but like, mm, I'm... I'm not convinced by that. It, it is a little weird. It is a little weird because the echoes sound almost slightly too delayed. Um, but, you know, I... Anymore. I'm really curious to see if it's able to capture on camera because they literally echoed back to you. Hello? Was that like a door unlatching? Yeah. Oh my God. Yes, that's exactly what it was. Do you remember when Amanda was sitting right here and she heard the door unlatch when we were doing the SS method? In the basement, yeah. That just happened again. To make sure the house doesn't echo. Is there any echoes on the property? Because I was saying like, hey, towards the kid. Jakey, you have the 25 gifted subs, you legend. Thank you for smashing the sub goal. You are the goat. I want to hear the little echo one more time. Only on Colby. Hey. Sorry, I just need to listen to that again. It's interesting. Done. See? Whoa. Didn't that, that sound like it weird. mocked it's me? It's like an echo. Hey. See? That was quite a high-pitched thing as well, actually. So, you know when he goes like... For him, anyway. See? Hello? Oh, it's only on Colby. Hey. What the fuck? We were He does seem a little bit louder though. In a house, how is it echoing like that far away? It's coming from behind you. Really? I hear it over there? <laughs> what the Oh yeah, that was higher pitched as well. Wait, maybe I'm maybe I'm just completely fucking wrong. What the fuck? Wait, it's coming that way for you guys? It's coming in the kitchen for me. Hello, hello? Yeah, that's actually lower pitch than the things. Mm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. That is, there's less consistency there than I had assumed. Hello, hello. Say it one more time. Hi. What the? It's fuck? not happening anymore. That is, you know what? No, that is a bit weird. He he kind of went through an array of different tones and pitches, and and yeah, it did just actually stop halfway through. Huh. I don't know. Strange. I'm not... I'm really curious strange. to see if it's able to capture on camera because they literally echoed back. No. We'll carry on. Sorry, I just... Is there any echoes on the property? Because I was saying like, hey, towards the kitchen area. The note A is a resonant frequency. He could have been speaking in an A for a time. I don't think so, though. I don't know. Th there is a chance that, like, yeah, he just accidentally spoke in a certain way that caused, like, the right resonance. But it's... It's a little weird. Like, it's a little weird... That, like... The delay that was on it, it's not a very big house, so that sort of delay is kind of strange. I know, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things. But I'm not... I'm not a million percent convinced by it.
area, and then about a second later, it would have my same voice repeated back to me. It sounded exactly like it, exactly like it me. was his voice, like a mimic. verbatim mimic. Were you playing a video back? No. no. Was there a speaker system throughout the house? No. no. I could have sworn it was coming from the kitchen, but then they said on like, no, it's behind us. But like the basement has the two doors leading right. from where the, the kitchen, kitchen is. And yeah. Well, yeah, this this is my, and also the basement's gonna be the one that echoes because of like the fact that it's it's like sort of stone foundation. So I think his implication is that something's mimicking him from the basement, but my implication is that he just at certain times spoke at the right volume and tone and pit. You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but it stopped. Yeah, but if he's like if he said it, it's so hard for us to judge the volume. You know, wasn't the basement door closed? Sound can travel through the door, like it hits the door and it vibrates it. I don't know. I'm not, I, I'm not saying, like, it, it's still weird. But I'm just saying, I feel like there's potentially some, um, there's potentially some explanation there. Right. So if something downstairs was mimicking me, we would have heard it from both spots. But also, if your echo was, yeah, again... I get it. I get it. I get it. It is weird. The delay is weird. The fact that it stops weird, but I don't know. I, I feel like a broken record right now, but I just don't know. 50-50 on that one. Be open-minded. I'm very open-minded on all this stuff, but I just, I, I, my whole thing, this is why I do the ghost, I watch the ghost, like, hunting stuff all the time, is because I think a lot of the time people just don't have an explanation for a phenomena. I, I believe in the paranormal wholeheartedly, but uh, I, I and I think, especially bearing in mind, I've done a hunt with Sam Colby. I personally have witnessed things that I absolutely do believe are paranormal. This, I'm not 100% convinced. I'm not 100% convinced by that. Reintroduce yourself. All right, well, I'm Satori Hawes. I'm Cody Despian. We're caretakers here at the Conjuring House, and uh, we also communicate with the other side, I guess you could say. In a very interesting way that we kind of found out by accident. Uh, so the first day we met, we were paired up with each other to investigate a, a private residence. We thought the place was really active, and then the next investigation we went on, the same activity, a lot of footsteps and banging sounds, and, and then um, the other team members were like, maybe it's something with you guys, you should go experiment. We found out that uh, eventually, over time, that when we hold hands or hold wrists, it's almost like flipping on a light switch and, and kind of draws them in a little closer. So we're not mediums or anything. We can't sense anything. Whatever happens, everyone is here to witness. Uh -huh. We can't control it. And we only do this for people who cross our paths naturally and don't do it for money or anything like that. So just says what it is. We can't guarantee who uh -huh. comes through. That's, uh, that's real interesting. They just held wrists one time and they just like held hands and like, oh shit, this works. Oh, so that's just your warning. It could be literally anyone that wants to communicate. So if you guys get uncomfortable at any point, just let us know, okay? Do you guys have a name for this technique or what would you call it, method? That we don't. Weird thing we do. That weird thing we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. Let's go. Shout out that weird, weird thing they do. The spirits come. <laughs> I guess so. Pause. I don't want to talk about the weird thing they do anymore if anyone's coming. But, all right, so wherever you guys feel comfortable. Oh, also, did you say we're trying to contact anybody specifically or someone wanted to come through and talk to us specifically or no? So we do a lot of sessions in the house, especially with Jacqueline. And the session we did most recently, Abigail came through, Abigail Arnold, and she said that she wanted to talk to you guys. So oh, wow. we're not really sure what she has to say. Yeah. So we expect her to come through. Who else? We don't know. Is it best with uh, lights on or lights off? You can leave Sorry. lights on. You might yeah, want to evaluate wanna... the setting. You're gonna hear them, you'll hear them walk into the room from different angles. Usually, Really? Okay. <laughs> That's wild. Oh, You're going to hear everything. Great. We might, we've already been hearing things in this room. Yeah. A month later. The following footage you're about to see, we left completely unedited and completely uncut so that you guys could experience it the way that we did. This affected us so much that we even flew back to the Conjuring house a month later to try to debunk what we saw and we couldn't. We'll include that footage here at the end. We want you to watch and give your honest opinion about what you think because after Sam and I experienced this, we've been thinking about it every single day since. I think this is the thing they were texting about, I'm going to assume. So we better get into it. But I do have to do something before we do. Right? I do. As much as I don't want to. Go! 
boys. It is the top of the hour ad. Oh, I am good at timing it these days. I mean, what a perfect cliffhanger to leave you on. You surely don't want to leave. You don't want to go anywhere. You want to keep the stream open because in a minute's time, we'll be finding out exactly what happens in this next clip. But what is this? Well, guys, I asked every single viewer who watched the Jackman Fall TV stream uh, supports it in some way, shape, or form. And I realize not everyone has the spare cash to do so. So I'll give you another option. I ask for not your money, but a minute of your time. For you see, a minute long ad is about to play on the stream. And all I ask is that you don't close it like a dickhead. Do not close the ad. Leave it running. Let it play. You don't even have to watch it. Just let it play out on your device. And after one minute, we'll be straight back watching the content. But of course, if that really pisses you off, if you hate having to go through this every single stream, one, two, three times, every, like five days a week, then you can subscribe to the low, low price of $4.99 to skip all the ads on these streams. Pre-rolls, mid-rolls, the lot. And of course, you can unlock those same features. All the exclusive emotes, the custom roll on the Discord, the ad-free experience, obviously. All that can be unlocked without paying for free with a Twitch Prime sub. If you subscribe with Prime, then guess what? You click subscribe right now. You check that Prime option. You hit subscribe. It doesn't cost you a penny. I get the money. You get all the bells and whistles. We all live happily ever after. I've got Primes all the time, so check if you have one now. Because if you do, you're going to get yourself out of the ad right before it plays. you only got a few seconds, though, because I'm playing it right now. I'll see you all in a minute. The ad is playing. How are we feeling, subs? What do we think of this video so far? Also, in true Jet Manifold fashion, I am a third of the way through uh, an hour-long video, and it's taking me an hour to watch it. This will probably be, end up being a two-and-a-half, three-hour-long stream, as they always fucking are. I don't know why it is. I just can't watch. Well, you know what it is? I, you know what it is? There's all that controversy. Like, I, all you know, Jack's film's talking about, like, Sniper Wolf and how shit reaction content is. And, I, and the thing is, I, I also agree that untransformative reaction content is just dog shit. Uh, however, I like to think that I'm, I'm not reacting to content. I'm discussing it, analyzing it, creating conversation. Right? Like, out of an hour-long video, there will be a three-hour-long stream. That means two of those hours aren't even watching the content. I'd like to say that's transformative in nature. I'd like to say I'm the GOAT. Also, uh, Maddie RCT, thank you for the two months. Uh, and thank you, Violet Mood, for the five months. I'm very excited to watch this. The ad is over. Welcome back. I was just saying how I was him. But anyway, doesn't matter. This is the most intense part of the video from what I hear. Let's not fuck around. Let's just watch this. I want to see it quite badly, actually. All right, so if anybody's here and you can hear my voice, I'm going to connect with Cody right now, and wherever you are, I'm going to ask you to come close to us and uh, just stomp your feet or hit something as loud as you can so we know you're here, okay? So if you're around, I'm standing here in this, this living room area. Can you come in here, please? So that's upstairs. That's fucking wild how loud that was. That's like wild. That's footsteps. I feel the vibration. Yeah, if the anybody's fuck? here, I'm going to ask you. Okay. If anybody's here, I'm going to ask you to make that same noise you just made. Maybe, let's say, four times to let me know you can hear me. One, two, three, uh -huh. four. Thank you so much. Well, I appreciate is the camera just jeering because Sam's shaking? I completely would understand that if, you know. That might be a bit exciting. So, I know. Okay, hold on a second. So I'm going to play a little game. If you'd like to tell me your first name, I'm going to go through the alphabet. When I get to the first letter of your name, you're going to knock. 
I'll restart. When I get to the second letter, you're going to knock, and I'll keep restarting until I spell out things, okay? All right. So I'm going to get your first name. A. A. B. Abigail. Abigail Arnold. Perfect. It's great to talk to you. That's so crazy. That's fucking wild. Just like the little... You this evening. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, is this a dad? Is this normal? For us. For us. What? Dude, so, this is everywhere. Do you have something you'd like to say? I... You know what it is? Like... The... the I'm glad before watching this that I went and did a hunt with those guys because I witnessed some crazy stuff with them. And I, I, I can say wholeheartedly, there was no big production crew there. There's no, like there's planning, but not much. Like it's kind of, you're just doing things as, you know, as things develop, the plan changes. And like, it, it, it's so real with these guys. And like, you know, if I'd just seen this without knowing them, I'd be like, yeah, they've just edited in the knock. Like, that, or there's someone in another room knocking. Like, that would be it. But the thing is, having met them and filmed with them, I do have a trust for them. And that's why this seems crazy. Okay, how many words? Well, can I ask you something first? Mm-hmm. Abigail, do you know who... Can you see me pointing? Do you know who this is? Mm -hmm. Can you tell us... His name? A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. That's a, crazy. B, C, this is crazy. E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, a, B, C, B. I know, I went fast on that one. Colby? Perfect. Okay, and can what you see me? Fuck? Who actually, that point? That's wild. That is, no, that, this is actually fucking crazy. Hang on. Okay. Can you tell us his name? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, S, A, Sam. Perfect. Bro. <laughs> Wait, okay. You want to stop for a second? I just want to, like, talk. <laughs> How? Is it always well, like the, the stomping? Yeah, so that's so we usually They're go walking. through the alphabet and we get full full sentences sometimes and she's, we try have... she's trying to talk. She's trying to say something. <laughs> How many words? Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. This is such a robust system. Like it's long, but the, it literally allows them to communicate anything, which is wild. Like, it's like Ouija board tier, but, like, not as fucking... Ouija boards are scary. Like, people don't... Like, I don't fuck with Ouija boards, personally. And I remember Sam and Colby saying they don't anymore, either. Like, I don't know the exact ins and outs, but they're just fucking bad vibes. Um, you know, interesting. L M N O P A B C D E A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O people A B C D E F G H A B C D E here there are people here not living people okay do you know if they're from the house one for yes two for no no are they new Huh. Okay. How many people? Five. Okay. Five, five six. Five, are they six, are they with people that might be here tonight? Living people? Damn. I mean, hey, to be fair, bro, if you go ghost hunting as much as these boys, five attachments is actually pretty good. They're doing like a new hunt every month. So I'm, I'm, I'm not suggesting it's a good thing, but I mean, hey, it could be worse, you know? Could be worse. We'll, we'll wait, wait, wait. Yeah, what, is, what does that even mean? 
Does that mean like Doesn't you guys might have brought people five pe five things are attached to us? No, 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 no. That there might be five it spirits be. that are here that have come here to maybe talk to you or something. Can somebody? Okay, so they're not necessarily attached. Never mind. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, 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 sure. I was going to say, like, as much as I was joking about five not being that bad, I'm only saying that given their track record. That's actually, uh, that would freak me out a lot. Uh, so that's good to, to hear Come forward them. first. Whoever would like to come forward first. We just need your full name so we can figure out who you are. So somebody come forward. Or if Abigail can help. Can we have a name of one person to start? Okay. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, L. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. You can turn the subtitles off of this bit just because obviously it's covering this. A, B, L, I, B. A, B, L, I, B, B. More. Libby. Is there a last name? Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, G, O. Oh. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Shit. That, fuck. That's crazy. A, L, A, B, A, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, Okay. Does this make sense for you? Do you need a break? Yeah. Okay. Can we take a quick break real quick? Can they stay around? Okay. We'll take a quick break. Okay. Stay right there. Do you want me to bring you something? I feel real sorry for him, um, but at the same time, to, like not to, I want to say that before I then move on to a completely separate point. I, I really do feel bad for him. That is, the, le the, the, the clarity of that communication is, is, is crazy, right? And the thing is, I think, I think this is the, the reason why this is so wild. Because people do Ouija boards all the time, but there's sort of this implication that, um, even subconsciously, because you are in control, like you're not in control. Well, supposedly you're not in control, but like because your hands are on the uh, the the old glass thing, um, that you could be influencing what is being said, right? Um, but the fact that, assuming nothing was said off camera, which I again I trust the boys. I assume that that they didn't. That two people have managed to spell out. Someone, I, I believe I, it's Sam's grandmother. I think I, I, I spotted in chat. Um, like, but have been able to spell out that name independently of him. Like, he's had no influence. He's not saying the like the knock. You, you know, what I mean, that's wild. Like, the clarity of communication on something that is so like that's so that does feel so concrete, which is crazy. Oh my fuck! What? Who is it? Libby Golak. Your grandma? That's my grandma. Oh, no way. <laughs> the one that said onward and upward that started a fucking... Everything. Everything. Do you want me to get you tissues or something? Sure. Can we have tissues? Oh, fuck, dude. I... Oh, my God. Bless you. There's no way in fucking hell they know anything. No. That's not her real name. That's her nickname. No one in my family, no one besides my family would ever tell anybody like that. What the fuck? I, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> my God. I hate to tell you, but we only have access to toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the most of his concerns right now. Oh, bro, that was, that was a real de-escalation. I love that. That's real sweet. Like his fucking dead grandmother communicates and he's like, yeah, no, but sadly, we do only have Lou Roll for you to wipe your eyes and nose with. <laughs> oh, bless him. 
Is that okay? That's okay. I'll just use my shirt. Okay. I'll leave this But you'd rather not use... No, use the TP, bro. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, I don't mean to to knock a man while he's down, but don't ruin your fucking shirt, bro. Come on now. The toilet paper's perfectly good. Whoa. Like I said, I can't promise anything, so I'm sorry. Like, if it was... It's, it's common for that to happen for family members to come through. Oh my god. <laughs> but you said she was following us? So usually they're watching o watching over people. Okay. That, that's usually what, at least the way we understand it. I yeah. mean, we've done this hundreds of times now, and the reason why we do it for people who cross our paths naturally is usually there's a message for that specific person that we cross. And, oh, wow. And usually when wow. family members come through, it's it's just letting them know that they're watching over them. And, and wow. And that's... they are. They're always watching over us. Would you like a break or yeah. That's a real comforting thing because I really, really do feel like that's probably a legitimate thing they've captured. Like, and that's very comforting because it doesn't just apply to Sam, right? Like, even though like we we just watched it, like the the, the sort of implication of this clip is that this happens to everyone. Oh no, no, sorry, the the, the the potential is there for this to happen to everyone, and that everyone is being overlooked by people, which is a very comforting thought. There's also a slight discomfort in thinking about what my 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 de deceased grandfather may have seen me do, but but I'm gonna I'm I'm not gonna dwell on that as I'm sure he doesn't either, uh, and uh, simply gonna dwell on the fact that he's probably knocking about, which is like you're right, mate. Hope you're well. Uh, you know that is sort of uh, yeah. Anyway, that yeah. Sorry, I I I struggle to be serious for more than a few minutes. I'll be right back. <laughs> What? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? What is this house? What is this house? I've never seen anything like that before, my brother. There's no, there's no fucking there's way. There's no way. They knew her. There's no fucking way. There's zero way. Oh my god. Oh my god, who's gonna believe that? Like, what the fuck? There's n People are gonna believe it because of this reaction, man. Dude. I have never felt like that ever. As she- Dude. <laughs> when she said lib, I was like, there's not a, a, a Libby in the fucking Conjuring House lore. There's nothing in any of the history at all. I was like, no way she's saying Libby. And then when she said G, I was like, there's no way. There's no, dude. How is that possible? That's, yeah. That is the fucking shit that makes me believe in all of this. I get it when we ask for things and things go off, there things can be chalked up to coincidence or things can be scary or things can tell us to fucking leave. But when someone, when someone like that, like my grandma, there's no way they would have known her name, and she's, she said someone came here with us. Mm -hmm. it's as if she's, like, watching over me. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a great thing. My grandma affected me a lot. She taught me everything to do with appreciation and loving life, and literally her last words before she died were onward and upward. And that is a slogan that Colby and I used for the first five years of our career yeah. because of how much that impacted us. Shit, this, this shit's making me fill up. Like, I'm, I'm getting, like, almost... I'm, I'm, like, actually... I actually had to, like, have a... Uh, like, I had to look away from the screen because I'm like, I don't want to cry on stream. But I, I... And she's basically just saying she's still with us, dude, watching all yeah. this. She's still there. Beautiful. She's still there. It's mind I just, like, I couldn't do anything except immediately break down. I just didn't know what to think. I can only imagine, I don't know whether he's now going to go back and this will happen, but I can only imagine if they'd carried on, that onward and upward would have been the exact thing said. That's what I personally believe. It's fucking insane. Yeah, understandably. I don't even know what to say right now, to be honest. I mean, full honesty, I was looking at their feet like, who's tapping? The I was too. Time, I, I, was I like, thought there tapping? was another person in the fucking house or someone downstairs tapping or their feet, but nothing. I, I pointed the camera down many times to look at their feet. No one was tapping. Nobody was tapping. 
I kind of forgot about like the, the the possibility of one of them tapping for a second. My brain was like, "Why are you fucking looking at their feet the whole time? It's weird as shit." And then I I remembered. So uh, that that made the moment wholesome. God, I don't know what just happened. My my literally my life is flashing before my eyes right now. Yeah, that's profound. As we're about to go back in the house, something moved behind us, that says. Something just moved. Something's out here. So what, what was that? I don't know. Like something running or falling? Let's go. Okay. It could be like an animal or a creature of sorts. Is that in the barn? No. Now there's something in the front. Something just like... Like a person? Like a person. Like, yeah, I thought I think there's like a trespasser out in the barn right now. Because like someone... Or an animal or something. Ran at us. What? Like, I'm, like, it sounded like, I don't know, like a barrel. It sounded like a barrel rolling with water in it. Rolling with water, yeah, like that. Wait, did this fall down? Or multiple things fall down right now? That was there? Was that all there? This was here, but I don't know if this box was in the middle of the pathway. Like this. Wait, throw that down and let me hear what it sounds like. It was like that if it happened like 20 times. Yeah, if it like rolled and did that. Do, 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 do. That's what it sounded like. Yeah, like that. It's like all those boxes just like fell over and ran rolled. And there were, what circumstance would those boxes just fall over too? I mean, what a is hefty going breeze. on? That's weird. Dude, I'm not being a dickhead. That uh, is a bit weird. What is going on? I like. Zach's their producer. Oh, okay, Zach didn't come to the UK stuff, but I guess he comes sometimes. Dude. <laughs> God dang. This is crazy. <laughs> this what is the night fuck? one. Night oh God, one. We're sleeping here for seven nights. I don't think I can. Fuck. I don't think I can. Oh, Abigail. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. We don't want to push yeah, you. Oh, it said Abigail had a message for us. We had to continue to find out what it was. Sorry. No, I mean, the entire goal of being here is to learn more about this, is to push ourselves. So I'm, I'm super down. It just caught me off guard. All right, well, if you want to stop, just let us know. They're here. <laughs> so watch this real quick. That's so fucking profound. That that's like bizarre. Like I, I'm I'm so interested in what about them two being linked like this causes if I was to game theory right now from the little bits that I've heard, I don't really understand this stuff well enough, but the, the bits that I've heard is the whole idea is that um it takes a lot of energy for spirits to be able to do things. And that's why uh, areas of high EMF are more likely to, you know, you know like, like, uh, like more likely to um, have, you know, paranormal activity and stuff because it's sort of that, the spirits doing things generates EMF and then equally they can hijack pre-existing EMF to give them the energy to do things. Is I think how I understand that. Or, or is it that they just hijack the AMF and them doing that hasn't... I, I forget exactly. Blah, 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 right? I'm not a big believer in sort of people having energetic fields and stuff, but I know it's like chakras and shit, but I know it's like something people believe in. Um, and uh, my, my thinking here is that something about their two energies generates such... A strong, palpable energy that spirits can hijack it so easily to to knock and shit. That's my that's my active like fucking map pack game theory. I know that sounds mental, uh, and I don't know if I believe it or not. Uh, but just based on the bits of information you hear floating around, because this is the thing. Someone in chat was like, um, "It's ghosts, not a science." I am of the belief that everything in this world is a science, including this. This is just the stuff we don't get yet. Science hasn't cracked it yet. But I tr do truly believe that one day, if we live long enough, it will. You know what I mean? Like, I if this stuff is real, which I I'm beginning to believe it is, then this stuff is explainable and it's palpable and, you know. Um, and this is the thing. Uh, like, you know, like, you can... 
I'm not saying that spirituality isn't a thing. I just think it's part of science. I, I think everything falls into one thing. I, I, I yammed about this for like an hour before, but like the, the idea that um, the sort of the Abrahamic God, um, I think the descriptions of the Abrahamic God simply are just describing the universe itself. But I, I you know, like the, God is just a replacement world for word for everything. And, 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 and that's, like, like the Abrahamic religions are just sort of um, personifications uh, and and sort of metaphors for sort of uh, cosmic happenings. Again, very fucking. I don't want to get into it right now because it's it's a real long winded sort of thing um, to get to. But my 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 point is, um, my point is, um, that like, I think these things come hand in hand. And I think um, people who are very spiritual and people... Because what I find very fascinating is that um, people... Like, if this shit was all made up, uh, people kind of land on the same techniques and they land on the same sort of uh, happenings and findings. Which is all that science is. Just a bunch of people studying shit and finding the same things. But they could explain it better with maths. Spirituality is a little bit more uh, subjective. But I, the more I... The more I meet people who claim to have some sort of spiritual capability, and the more and and the, and these people are quite private about it. The people I've met, I, you know, there's, there's there's mediums that go around and advertise themselves, and I'm less trusting of those people. But people I've met who have like confided in me and being like, "Look, I have this ability," and I've met people like that, and they're people I trust. Uh, and what I find is, you know, when I find two people. Uh, who are unrelated, who claim to have the same sort of abilities, they're so, they describe them so similarly. And like, how could you have both, how could you both possibly have, have made up this, this lie, right? You know what I mean? And have it be so similar. Um, so I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I'm really intrigued as to what the science is behind why these two coming together makes this shit happen. That's what gets me. I, that's what I find super, super, um, you know, interesting. No, no, someone said in chat, uh, I just don't really see the connection between science and this stuff. Like I'm down for scientific debunking on one side. I'm not suggesting scientific debunking. I'm saying that I think spirituality is a part of the sort of scientific universe that we've just not really... Like understood yet in conjunction. I think there's people that understand spirituality, and I think there's people who understand science. But what I have yet to find is someone who seems to be able to connect their knowledge of both uh, to create a holistic sort of like like to, to quote Stephen Hawking theory of everything, you know. Um, and I feel like that that's the end goal, right? That's surely got to be. This is, sorry, this is, I, I know I'm talking very profoundly here, but like, uh, th I think that's, I think that, that's why I find this paranormal shit so interesting, because I'm so, I've always been such a sciencey person, and then as I've, um, um, I'm such a sciencey person, oh, I really, um, Tom encourages me to check the stream in group chat. I won't be going. Um, th th there's your answer, Aaron. I won't be, I won't be attending. Um, thank you for coming in chat though. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, like, like, um, the reason I find the paranormal stuff so interesting is because I've always been a really, really sciencey person. I love physics and I love trying to understand the sort of universe and like how it works and shit. And I really thought... I had a pretty good understanding. I didn't get everything, but I felt like I had a good sort of grasp, right, of the way shit worked. Um, and then all of a sudden, I have these sort of profound, beyond any sort of law of physics I can understand experiences. And I, I meet people that, that, you know, have like, in, like intuition, like sixth sense and um, all this shit. And I'm like, th th this doesn't line up with what I understand. But that doesn't mean I, I think 
what I understand is wrong. I think I think both of these things can coexist. I just don't know how. And I think that's what we're that's that's the goal in it. That's what we look for. Anyway, I've really yammed on. I want to keep going. But that's so, so interesting. Only when we do this. I so interesting that they can only knock when they do that. But that's that. That was what that all came from. I just found that fascinating. I don't know why. Has that happened like ever since you guys met? Yeah. Yes. Yep. The first day we met. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I try to see like where the noise is coming from? Can you keep stomping your feet as much as possible? Sometimes you'll hear it move around the room. Can you walk? Yeah. Now over? it's over here. <laughs> now it's over here. <laughs> yeah, it is moving. Dude, I can't even follow it. It's moving. Can you stomp right here for me? Can you come over here? Oh my god. Thank you. Right there. That's so fascinating. Is this Abigail? Yeah. Would you like to continue? Okay. Did is did the person we just named, did they have a message? Okay. Okay. How many words? Okay, I'll go a little faster. That was five. Never mind. I thought it was going to be onwards and upwards, but that's that's only three. So I guess. Faster, okay. Five. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W A B A A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T I know it'd be T. It's gonna be watch. I just don't know what the uh, obviously A B C watch. Watch. Watching. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O over over A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W U. X Y U oh. more A B and A B A a B C D E F G H I J K L A B C D E F G W H I J K L Oh more A B C D E F G H I A B C D E F G H I J K L No, I know. I'm not. I'm not guessing well anymore. N O P Q R S Allison. Allison. <gasps> Watching over you and Allison. No. Way. More? It's his sister. A B A. That's crazy the amount of information they have. Like obviously because you know it's really a spirit, but like it's 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 so like earth shattering, like in a good way. It's a like see these words. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N and and A B C a B C D E A B C D E F G H I J K L M N More Then Okay Excitement <laughs> Excitement? Oh yeah, my yeah. god, man <laughs> Oh, Sid and Ben are my brother and sister Oh, oh. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z W Before that W X Y Z Z Oh A Z A A B C Zach Zach There's somebody named Zach Zach in the room would you like to skip or would you like to hear? I think we gotta go for it. Yeah, you should hear. Okay. Can I, can I ask whoever is here was Zach to come forward? What, what? That's crazy though. That like, like again, it just feels to me like more evidence. Like I, I already trust the boys, but I feel like for any skeptics, like more evidence that it's not fake. It's just like, there's no need to go to that effort. Of showing the producer like they try and keep him off camera clearly and there's no need to kind of break that 
to show him to to then not show the session. You know what I mean? So that that's that's the thing that gets me. Emotional motion sickness. Thank you, Tim. What do you think about that? <laughs> um, you guys want to process for a second? No. Yeah. Do you want to process? I mean, there's absolutely no possible way that any of you could. I mean, with you, like you're a public figure. But there's right? no I mean, way. They they wouldn't have known who your grandmother's nickname was. I'm not a public figure. There's no way that anybody in this room would have known anything about any of these people. Up until it's impossible. up until this very moment, you've always been a skeptic. Does this help at all? I don't even know what to believe at this point. Uh. <laughs> so crazy that their producer is a skeptic, by the way. That's wild. Like, after all the shit he's, like, seen them make, he's like, ah, oh, no, boys. It's crazy. I'm on the edge of believing because of the blue-eyed shadow man, the shadow woman I saw in my bedroom doorway, but I think I need to go do ghost hunting with someone that doesn't fake stuff like you or Sam and Colby. This is the thing. I, I, I feel like you just... You gotta be in a situation that you trust uh, to really truly be like, oh my God, this is real. You know, what's this? My phone went off, but I can't see what it is. Two seconds. Okay. I have no words. Are you trying to say something? They're just going, I don't know what they're doing. Are you waiting? Very impatiently? Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I like there's a little bit of humor between them. That's true. Is there somebody new? Okay. I'm going to go for your first name, okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, 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 yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, A, B, C, A, Frank. Okay, last name? A, B, B, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Oh, this is gonna be Colby's turn, isn't it? H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, yep. R, A, B, C, D, C, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, Brock. Frank Brock. Frank Brock. A B C D E F G H R J K L M N O P Q R S T -E. A B C D E. Tell. A B C D E F G H R J K L L A B A. A B C D E F G H I J K L mm. M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y L A Y A B C D E F G H I J K L M N L A Y N R A B C D E Lane. Oh, I think that's my dad. Lane. Lane. More. A B C D E. What the fuck? A B C D E F G H I J K L L E L. A B C D E F G H I D L I. More. A B C D E F G H I J. Lane is a sick name. You're right. Okay, now I'm really intrigued by right at this point. He doesn't know who Frank is, which is even more fascinating. J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Eliza. Uh, Elizabeth. Eliza. Elizabeth. Tell. Lane. Lane. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. A B A. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N and. A B C D E F G H I word I word I you're okay okay so tell Lane that Frank and Elizabeth are okay 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 got it got it thank you.
That's interesting. I don't know who either of those people are. I don't, it doesn't look like... What? <laughs> Sleep deprivation here. Why would I know who those people are? Um, I, sometimes my, my words just come out. It doesn't make sense. I, I'm curious as to who they are. Are you going to text them? Well, I just wrote this down, so obviously we, we're filming this, but like... <laughs> I think Elizabeth and Frank are my great grandparents and my dad's grandparents because when I I was doing some ancestry.com and I think I know Frank Brock but I never met him. Tell Lane is my dad and, and nobody spells Lane like L A Y N E. Yeah, why why would that even come up? Who's Bob? Bob? Bob is my uh, grandpa. Bob is my grandpa. My dad's dad. So this would be his son. My great grandpa's here. Damn. That's fucking insane, dude. Bob's your son. Bob is their son. That's what he said. Oh, he's trying to tell me that. Yeah. So I gotta. <laughs> That's so interesting. Like, so interesting. Thank you, Frank. Oh, my bad. My bad. We never met before, you know, but... Are you watching over... Is everybody here just watching over, making sure they're safe? Good. Are you always with them? Yes. Wow. Okay. So it's like... A... What do you feel, man? I'm just gonna have some... <laughs> when I see everybody at Christmas this year... <laughs> <laughs> you guys have no idea what I found out. <laughs> oh, my That's God. That's funny. That's crazy. I just... I've never met you before, Frank. Ever. No. <laughs> like, no. But thanks for watching over. Wow, that's cool. No, we appreciate it. My hey. dad's gonna cry. <laughs> Dude. Okay, okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm, I was like, trying to work out what name that was. No one spells Lisa like that at all. Lisa like that. That's my mom. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Tell Lisa, right? Yeah. No, that's her name. Okay. It's my mom. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, I, J, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, J, E, N, A, a B C D E J E N E A B C D E F G H I J K L Janelle A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z That's my grandma. I don't know if the appropriate reaction is to shake him a little bit. It's like, what is happening? But also, I suppose you would be a little bit shocked, wouldn't you? Okay. Is with her. Okay. Okay. That's my grandma Daly. <laughs> Is she dancing around? Like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, oh my god. god. I love it. I love oh the energy gosh. in this group. What the fuck happy. is happening, dude? Are you happy? What is happening? Good. That makes me happy. Oh, Anything else? Insane. Okay. You gonna take a break for the evening? All right. Thank you. Bye, Grandma Daly. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, god. <laughs> They just walked away. Oh. Oh my god. Wait, yeah. It. Yeah, that was it. And then they're done for the night. So that's how that works. Wow. Yeah, imagine what it must feel like for them to be able to get through, right? To like communicate with you. They're probably just as excited. Yeah. And it's just okay. for. Yeah, you'd be gassed. Like if you're a ghost and you watch over your loved ones all the time and you wish you could talk to them and you couldn't, and then they end up through, through happenstance to be in a situation where you can, you'd be gassed. Mate, I'd have the I'd throw the fattest ghost party afterwards. I'd have a sick ghost night. I don't know what ghosts do to like unwind, but I'd be hit. I'd be like smoking fat ghost blunts. <laughs> Probably shouldn't say that. Um, I, I don't smoke alive blunts. Uh, I don't know why I'd imply that. Um, but I I I I I'd, 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 I'd you know I'd get ghost lit. <laughs> Basically, what I'm getting at. 
that's profound though. That like really, really is like, obviously, yeah. Like I, I, I trust the boys wholeheartedly. I really don't think anyone's in another room knocking. That's crazy. That's crazy. The amount of information, the clarity of the communication, j- just wow. And like, and and and, and the, the thing about, uh, I, I'm forgetting their name. What was it? Satori and uh, Connor. Satori and Connor. I'm, like, I'm not very good at names. Um, someone, I'm chat will just laugh at me if I'm wrong. Cody. Fuck. Shit. Oh, I tried real hard. Satori is an easy name to remember. It's pretty unique. Connor, fuck. Cody. All right. But the thing about Satori and Cody. Um, yeah, that's so weird. I'm so curious as to what causes that. A reference. Nothing yeah, built no, even, into our sneakers. I know. Do you want me to like take you downstairs to show that nothing is rigged up I downstairs? mean, for, not for us, but for the audience. Any way that you can help them believe, please. Like... Uh, yeah, uh, we believe 100%. Yeah, but. Yeah. You want us to go upstairs and you stay here, or do you want to go to the basement and... I mean, because usually, usually the sounds come from here. I mean, can we just stand we there real anywhere. quick, too? Yeah. yeah right now. Well, yeah, let me... I was going to ask if anybody wanted to stand in between. You can, if you want. Does somebody want to stand between us? Because if you stand between us, it can still work as long as we're on either side of you. I mean, so uh, we, believe, we believe you. Like, I, I, we believe you guys. <laughs> okay. like, All right, if you're nervous, that's fine. If you want us to go to a different floor, and then just let us know when we can. See, that would be cool to see. Anybody what do you want? What do you want? Well, for the like people watching at home, I think anything that we could do to like show them that this is real. Obviously, they'll see like our emotions. But yeah, if we can change locations, okay. like show them your shoes, stuff like that. What? I just want. <laughs> they can just do that anyway. I need to find me a fucking person who can I can do this with. Because that's mental. That is fucking mental. They can just do that anywhere. I think they could just do that in this fucking crazy house. Because it's mad, like, haunted. Like, you know, you know, like, uh, the, the whole idea of haunted places is they already have the sort of energy to support haunting, right? And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they can just do it anywhere. And th- isn't it crazy that they just happen to work at, like, a haunted place? And they just have this ability and they didn't know until they met working at this haunted place. That's so crazy. Everyone's like me and Eleanor. I think if I suggested this to her, she'd freak out. I don't think she'd like this idea at all. Prove this to everybody. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it still underneath my feet yeah. as so, you're talking. If there's somebody... Okay, thank you. So what we're going to do, do you want us to go up and you stay here? Or do you want to go down? Can we follow you upstairs? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And just do it upstairs. And then do it again upstairs. Okay. Sure. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wait, where where is this? Can we do it in this room right above us? Yeah. Yeah. So guys, just take a peek at, this is what it looks like. There's just wood. Nothing. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing on, on all of that. Just take that in. Okay, now we're going to go up to okay. this right, same room. Here we go, are you ready? You might want to film the bottom of their shoes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here's my shoes. Yeah. 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 They got little knockers in their shoes. Our shoes, so. Again, we <laughs> believe you. <laughs> and the whole world is going to fucking crumble after this. This is a dumb dude. My parents are going to. I don't know what my parents are going to think. My grandma daily just came. My mom. It's gonna cry, dude. This is perfect. Good for you. Can you come upstairs? Can you come into the room? There it is. So crazy, you can fucking hear the footsteps and everything. Like, it's not just them consciously knocking, you just hear everything they're doing. That's so wild. It's wild. I actually, I, I can't, I really, really can't. Get my head around that. It's right there. You can hear it. Try to get the camera as close as possible. I know. I know, right? You took your pick up a leg. I know, you. Yeah. Are we, like, going to dance while we're doing No, this no. Here? Again, I think that's enough proof in the pudding. We switched spots. <laughs> we saw their shoes. It's still hitting. I think I want to do this. I think I want to go here. I'd be so interested to see who's knocking about. I think I'd be a bit scared of it, but like, where is it? Where is the Conjuring House? Burrowville. 
In fucking Rhode Island. Okay. <laughs> That's where Family Guy's set. Okay, wait, hold on. Um, I have just... I have just the trip that I could um, tack that onto, I think. I might do this. Be a little while. Be a good few months, but I'm not looking to travel anytime soon. Maybe we'll do that. And you know what? If there's connection out there, I'd love to IRL stream it. Mm, would I? I'm not sure, actually. I, I don't know if... What if they say something private? Why is your neck red? I scratched it. I had an itch. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Thank it's you. insane. Yeah. So who's with us? Is this Abigail still? Yep. Mm -hmm. Abigail, is there anything that you, any message that you wanted to give to Sam and Colby? Because they're going to be here for a week, as you know. Anything that you'd like them to know? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. Woods. Looking? The woods? There's something about the woods? That's where the boxes fucking stacked it earlier. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Okay, what about the woods? A, B, C, a B A A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S C A S A B No C A L M N O P Q R S T What's that weird like fucking slow mo voice? M N O P Q What was that? What was that fucking sound? Do you hear that? Weird. U R S T U. Cautious. Be cautious. Be in cautious the woods. in the woods. Okay. Okay. Let's just give us a warning about the woods. Okay. Now, is there something that they can do, like provide an offering or something, before they go into the woods to help with communication with any spirits in the woods? Is there something they can do? No, or yes? She's, She's just spelling. Oh. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, J, O, A, G, G, G O, sorry. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, good. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I think I know what she's saying. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, K, L, M, N, O. Intentions. Good intentions. Go in with good intentions. Go good intentions. Okay. Okay. That's the best. That's so fascinating. Yeah. Thank you. Protector. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Will do. That's so interesting. Yeah. Just the intentions of why you're doing things is so important. It's really interesting to know. She's off to bed for the night. <laughs> 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 I got a good night, Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> she walked right by. Know, and there. Is, that's is anyone else here? Any other I spirits don't... here? How Hello, Henry. That was just that the was floor. A oh, I think that that was. A oh, what's that? Is that the floor? That might be where I'm standing. Yeah. Actually, is, is anyone else here with us in this room? Sort of think, yeah. I hear it right now. It sounds like it's a different area. Yeah, yeah. it sounds like it's somewhere else. Over there. Running. Well, Henry, we have some friends for you this week. And I'm sure they would love to hang out with you. Okay? That's Henry. 
Sounds like a little Very running. Light, sounds yeah. like a little light little feet. Sounds like they're running now over there somewhere, yeah. but all right, we'll leave you to all it. All right, have fun. See ya. Thanks for talking. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it's so interesting. Just the, the fucking kid running around. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Episode one is crazy! Wow. It is a bit too Thank you. Yes, yeah. thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Oh my god. You might have just proved to millions of people that think this is all real. I've never seen anything like this. Ever. <laughs> we, we haven't either. We haven't either, so your reactions were our reactions when, when we first we learned it. Yeah. I felt it was important that you see this early, as soon as we could get them on for you. I thought that Thank that you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. This change is like everything yeah, so that is that is by far the most tangible i'd love to witness this in person that is the most tangible evidence i've ever seen yeah i mean like obviously i don't know if you guys even know the answer to this question but do you think you know family members and loved ones can just tap in for a second and like talk for, and, like only have energy to just communicate that one message and then leave or, or... i don't think so yeah I, I think i think they're usually around usually the message that comes through is something that they really want to get across right away we could do this again tomorrow and they might come back and say something totally different you know yeah. what i mean so i mean and we've done it. and we've had conversations with the same spirits in the house for Years. an hour we have hundreds of hours of footage we do sessions the three of us all the time it's almost like we have these two different worlds going on at the conjuring house we have the public conjuring house uh -huh. and the investigations and the tours and then we have this behind the scenes where we're doing these sessions together and learning all sorts of things about a lot of different things yeah. so no wow. kidding it's cool now we feel yeah. like we're gonna leave you confused for the rest yeah. of your well, it's just a lot blown away it's, I mean, a, lot it's a lot to process, to process. It, it, i don't think i'll ever process this I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's you know what's say. crazier, too? The first time we ever had an experience that showed us like this was exactly like this. It was little taps, said yes or no questions back and forth, That's and great. no one believed us That's because great. we didn't capture it on camera. <laughs> We've been telling the same story for six years, mm -hmm. trying to get people to be like, no, 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 this actually happened. That's and now people yeah, can see, see this it. on camera that we weren't fucking joking what six years the, ago. What was the context six years ago? Qu Queen Mary, oh, okay. B340, we had a knocking conversation back and forth. We've been telling the same story over and over and over again, because that's like the one thing that we've helped. Queen Mary's the ship, right? That's that haunted ship, I believe. I haven't done it, but I, th I haven't seen their Queen Mary video. I think I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, okay. I am familiar with it. Hold on to that changed us from skeptics to believers. And ever since we started so you keep trying it. I, I think, I, I really think living energy, when certain living energies come together, and it doesn't have to be a couple like Story and I, I think when two people work together good, I think it can make it can that. manifest. Yeah, yeah, I was going to ask what you guys were. <laughs> 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 we're going to see that on the security camera. <laughs> but no. try it. You know, try, try things it. like no. that. Because no. I, maybe something was happening that you haven't recreated since then. So maybe yeah. maybe you were connecting somehow. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I just didn't. <laughs> I, didn't I, didn't know. Know. I said it, and you us. were like, no, I'm not here anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to take some time to process it. Oh my god. Oh, I muted the video. Shit, I was stretching. Sorry. I had, I'm so tired. Thank you. Tomorrow, okay? That was Thank insane. Good. That is wild. Thank you. That is wild. Two months later, I'm very excited about this. Revisiting Cody and Satori. What's up guys? It's been about two months since we've been at The Conjuring House and while we were editing we realized that there were some possible non-paranormal explanations for Cody and Satori's knocking method. So we went back to Rhode Island to figure it out for ourselves. After brainstorming we wrote down all the best questions and experiments we could come up with and we're going to be showing a recap of each one of those right now. But if you want to see the full uncut version of all these experiments, click the link below. So what we're trying to figure out is one, is The Conjuring House rigged? Two, can they do it outside or at a random location? Three, is there any Anything in their shoes for where is the sound coming from so let's start with everyone's main question is the conjuring house rigged in order to test that we wanted to see if Cody and Satori can make these knocks happen outside oh my god I haven't seen this oh in no, months <laughs> I'm, I'm freaking, freaking out. out okay ready mm -hmm. all right Abigail or anybody if you're here can you come up to the front for me here it is it's outside come over here it's can you stand right over here Walk around. Step. Yeah, it's not as clear because it's not on a wooden floor in a house, but there's a noise. Even I can hear it. 
It's quiet, and there's also gunshots, but that's America for you. Yeah, you can hear her. She dancing? She sounds like she's doing a Yeah! It's oh amazing. Okay, there you have it, guys. So, yeah, they can make these knocks happen outside, which was absolutely insane. But, yeah, it's still on the Conjuring property, which they had access to. So to make double sure, we're like, okay, can you go to a random, non-haunted location that you've never been to before so we know you don't have anything prepared? That, that, that one shocks me because I kind of assumed that, again, the only reason this worked is because it was the location it was. It's so crazy. I think it's just so crazy to me that these people met because they went to do this job at this haunted place and then they find out that they have some sort of like channeling ability that they can use not only at this haunted place, which would make a little bit more sense, but fucking anywhere. Like, that is wild. And guys, even Sam and I had no idea where these locations would be. We all got in the car together, and we had a team member send us these random locations. Where we kidnapped them? You did. You yeah. really did. Hey guys, just to show that these are... Well, let's see where they take them. After the top of the hour ad, guys, it is the top of the second hour. And you know what that means. It means we've got to run a second minute long ad. Now, I ask that every single viewer, if you are new, I'll say this really quickly now, as that every single viewer supports the stream in some way, shape, or form, but not every viewer I know can afford to subscribe, throw me some cash, I get it. So, to give those of you an option, if you cannot afford that sort of stuff, I ask for not your money, but a minute of your time, a minute long ad is gonna play. All I ask is that you leave the stream open, because after that minute, the content will resume, we'll carry on watching the video. I won't watch it without you guys, do not worry. Um, I'll just be hanging out with the subs in the meantime. If you do want to be one of those subs who gets to hang out, like uh, uh, only half who got an, uh, a nice sub from Ajax of all trades there, you can subscribe to the low, low price of $4.99 to get an ad-free experience on every stream for the next 30 days, exclusive ad, um, emotes, and an exclusive role in the Discord server. Or you can get all of that for free by clicking subscribe right now and seeing if the Prime option is available to you. If you have an Amazon Prime account and you've linked it to your Twitch, then you do have a Prime sub. And you may have forgotten to use it like I do all the time. So check it is there. If it is, use it. Um, but if it isn't, that's okay. An ad's about to play. And all you got to do is watch it. And not click off. Like a dickhead. Stay on the stream. I'll see you all in one minute's time. Gilly Mango, thank you for the Prime. We all forget. Either way. See you all in a minute's time. Oh. Chat. It's subs I'm going to tell you about. My next YouTube video. I really already want. I wanted it out by now. Uh, I wanted it out in four days' time. Uh, the problem was uh, Vegas was a much busier experience than I expected, uh, and I was there for slightly over a week, which I didn't want to be. So I basically didn't get to do anything on that video for a week, which is a little annoying. Um, so the video is probably going to be a week delayed. So it's probably going to be like another week till that video comes out at least. But me and Jay Schlatt filmed an absolutely great video in Japan. And it might, it, in a way, it's a sequel to the biggest Jack Manifold video of all time. Never take Tommy to a lake. Apart from Tommy isn't there. But we do learn that you should never take Jay Schlatt to a lake. That's all I'll say. But uh, yeah, I, I apologize. I, I was trying to get two videos out a month. But with all the traveling this month, it looks like it'll just be one. Which is a little annoying. It might actually even come out after this month. But uh, I'll make up for it because there'll be at least a double upload in November. But yeah, d k make sure if you're not. Jack Manifold TV on YouTube, go subscribe because uh, I've got two videos filmed in Japan read, uh, ready to go and i got like three more planned. So uh, get subscribing because the YouTube is back, baby. We, we went on a small hiatus to, to travel and shit, but we, we uh, filmed some great content, so it was worth it. Welcome back from the ads. So I was just talking about my, uh, my, uh, my next couple of YouTube videos because they are slightly delayed because of uh, Vegas um, being slightly busier than I expected. But uh, they will be out within a week or two, I would imagine. So uh, don't worry. Keep an eye out for him. Either way, we're going to carry on with the video now. Because I really want to see what, uh, if they really can do this in any environment. Because, like, don't get me wrong. I also, I'm pretty sure I believe them because I trust Sam and Colby. But I would like to... I'm a, I'm a man of science. And I like to prove things thoroughly. I'd like to see this absolutely proven. Random locations. The first one did not even work out because it was so loud around a main road that we couldn't even film there. Yeah, it's too close to a main road. So we had our team member generate another location where we ended up at some random park. Once we got inside the park, we wanted to make sure that there were no hidden devices in their shoes that could make these knocking noises. So earlier that day, we bought them new ones. We got 
shoes at Walmart. Have the receipt for today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Slippers, so we know there can't be any crazy hard wire into them. These are my socks, okay? There's nothing attached to my foot. There's nothing in their shoes. I respect them not making them take their socks off. That would be cruel. Is everybody. I don't have any devices in my ears, okay? Yeah. Or around. These are necklaces. It's way away from the conjuring house. We are on pavement. We have new shoes. Satori's hair is up and they had no idea. Why? Why? What do you think that she was hiding under her hair, bro? I mean, I don't think they did, but still. Where we were taking them. We did we not even. <laughs> we have no idea where we are right now. Yeah. <laughs> we don't even know where we are right now. Ready? Here we go. Okay. I just want to hear if anybody walks up. But it's always been Abigail who seems to show up. I'm curious who showed up this time. All right, if anybody's here, I'm going to ask you to come stand right over here for me, okay? And once again, the knocks were happening. I mean, obviously, we were impressed up until this point, but after this, from what we were experiencing, there's no way we could explain how they could possibly be faking this. Because we went ourselves to a random store and got them shoes that we know we didn't put anything inside of it is just mind blowing how this was all happening. Yeah. And I think this was the point where it really started to hit us. Have we talked to you before? No, okay. Somebody coming in. Right, going. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask for your name. I'm gonna go through the alphabet. So at this point, we could still hear the knocks in person, but the camera mic couldn't pick it up due to all the outside noise. So we're gonna fast forward to where you can start hearing it again. Fossey. Terry Fossey. Nice to meet you, Terry. Uh, why are you in the park? Try to talk as loud as you can, okay? I know you there's a lot of noise take some outside. Take some energy if you need to. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, Thank you for the gift sub. K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. This is going to be like walking. W, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, Q R S T U T A B C D E F E Tell A A Teach A Teacher No You're a teacher Okay, thank yes. you for confirming mm -hmm. that. Okay. Is this a school park? Yeah, you oh, know. It's spelling. It's spelling. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, L. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. It's so loud. I'm shocked they're able to do this. K, L, 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 O. A, B, C, D, E. I think it's A. A. G L O N. No. B. G L O B. Glob? There's a glob in the park? A fucking. a globulon? Can you try really hard to be loud? I know there's so many noises out here. Let's try reconnecting. Terry? They did the fucking old turn it on and off again. Okay. There he is. G L O B. Yep. A B C D E F G E. Globe. Globe. More. Oh wait, wait. This is Globe Park. Is there a school that you taught at with the same? That's crazy. That's crazy that they got the name of the park. Name? Oh, yeah, a okay. teacher at Globe. At Globe Park. This is Globe Park. I th yeah, we're at? I just looked at this sign right here. It says Globe Park. Globe Park School is 800 feet that way. No. 
<laughs> That's crazy. Talk to us tonight. Obviously, you guys can hear the knocks now, but I'm telling you in person, they were so much louder. And the craziest part is it didn't sound like it was coming from just one area. It was all over the place. It was like walking around and you could feel it on your feet. Like the vibrations were going through our shoes. Like how do you explain them being able to do that in a random park, random pavement? We could still feel it on our feet. Do you remember? I don't know if this is a tough question, but do you remember what year you passed away? Okay. Can I go through the date, the year first? Is it the 19? Was it? I didn't hear anything. 19s, like 1900s? No. 2000? Yep. Before 2010? Yep. 2000, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Seven? Seven? Yeah. Seven. That's wild. Just like being able to get... Bro died in 2007. He's just still out there chilling in the park. Fucking what? Uh, what's that? 2007? It's like 14 years later. 2007? Yeah. So here's the craziest part, at least for us. While we were leaving the park, we had a team member look up all the information that we got from Terry, the, the spirit that came through, and it was all true. Oh my god! Okay guys, we are on the- Oh, of course, yeah, you just look this shit up. Of course, people are real and like, there's like fucking obituaries and shit. 16 years. Wait, what? Am I stupid? Can I do math? Three. Oh yeah, 16. What did I say? 14? Yeah, I'm tired. On the way to the next location, we just asked our team to look up Terry, and he sent back a, a Google search. September 27th, which is today. No! 2007. That's crazy! That's even crazier! Fucking anniversary of their death. Oh, not anniversary of their death, anniversary of the, art the, the, the fucking obituary. I don't know when the obituaries come out. So, 16 years ago, today, Terry F Fika died at Globe Park School. Whoa! That's why he was walking around today. Oh my god, I'll throw no. the screenshot on screen. <laughs> but oh my- That's why she might have been at the park. It was just like a memory thing. Okay, Terry Ann Fika is a girl. Okay. And okay. 47 years old, elementary school teacher wow. at Globe Park School. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> That's profound. That's profound. That's like crazy. 7 minus 22 is 15. Dude, you do not know what year it is. It is 2023. Someone is caught in the past. Yeah, you know how people always laugh at mobile viewers for being like, like getting shit late? Who's this guy? What, 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 what device are they viewing on? Because they, they got that shit early, right? I'm, 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 right now, I'm streaming in 2023. How are you watching this in 2022? 2007. In 2007, exactly what we got. Aww. That is insane. Wow. That is also beautiful yeah. that she would come back to- I like that they drive a Kia. I, I, I respect Kia a lot. The elementary school. Just visiting. Just visiting. But just to be triple safe, we went to a random studio that our team had rented out, and before we went inside, we spontaneously told them to do it right there in the parking lot. Feel it? You want to see what you want to say? Ready? Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, B, C, D, E, P, A, B, C. Then we went inside the studio to capture audio on a second device live on camera to prove that what you're hearing in this video is exactly what we were hearing in person. We're even gonna show you the audio from the raw camera footage just to prove that these knocks were happening in real time. Is this a female? Male. Okay. Are they with this building? Are they with somebody in this building? Outside the building? They're from outside. Okay. So after doing all these experiments, we still don't fully understand what this is. But based on our experiences with Cody and Satori, we 100% wholeheartedly believe that this is true. We've been trying to debunk this for... That's so wild. Like, why... I... I've never seen anyone do something like that. And this feels so... Unbelievably, like... Powerful. That you'd think this would be better documented. 
But, oh my god. Someone I, I feel like asked a question I'm curious about. The past two months, every single- I wonder if everyone is capable of this too. You just gotta find the right fucking person. And I've been thinking about this and there's- it has to be. It There's no way. completely changed the way we think, changed everything for us. And obviously, we experienced it different. We were in person. You know, we saw it, we heard it, we felt it in our shoes. And no matter what we could capture on camera or you hear through the speakers of your computer or phone, is not going to be the same, and we understand that. But uh -huh. hopefully, you can sort of see what we have been going through. So what we ask of you guys is for you to make your own opinions about this. Like we said, we were spending on this for the last two months and talked to close friends and family, tried every single way that we could in our minds to debunk it and absolutely couldn't. So if you guys have any other ideas, let us know. The point is, this is something that we are gonna be talking about for the rest of our lives. It completely changed what we believe in, you know, how we approach the paranormal, spirituality, everything. So I hope you can kind of see why now, but we have so many more things to show you. So many more amazing conversations for the rest of the week at The Conjuring House, because we realized that this day one was just the beginning. That is wild. Back at the house, we needed to ask Cody and Satori one last question. Whee! Wow. Um, on or off camera, we just want to ask, like, do you guys understand this could, like, change millions of people's lives? <laughs> it changed ours. This could be huge. I don't know if you guys are, like, prepared for it when this video... I, 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 you can hear the excitement in their voice, like, holy shit, we've, we've fucking struck gold. Like, we have captured one of the most profound things, like... It goes out and people can see everything that you do. We're gonna leave most of it uncut. It's gonna be a big splash. I'm not even trying to sound, like, boastful or dramatic or anything, but it could change the world, wow. like, view of spirits and stuff. Yeah. This is so special. Probably the most That's undeniable big. thing anybody's ever seen about the afterlife. Jeez. And, like, you guys have, like... No, oh, yeah, we don't... We definitely don't realize that, that's for sure. No. Um... I'm trying to think of how to process that. This is- Did he even do that intentionally? Like he fucking puts his hand on a leg, not, just not thinking, and he's like, oh shit, oh shit, the ghosts! You know what I mean? It's unheard of. If it's helping people, then that's, that's why we're still doing this. That's what it's about for us, and you know, getting the house out there and showing that the house is more than what some people just believe it is. That's the important thing. We are prepared though, because we have gotten both good opinions and bad opinions. So we're prepared for both of it. You know, we're strong in our beliefs and what we do, so. Right, and of course we want to help everybody, but it's impossible, right? We can't give a reading to everybody or give a session to, to everybody. Yeah, we're not doing gallery readings or anything ever in the future. <laughs> yeah, we're not yeah. taking money for this or anything. But like I said, it's 100% that there's somebody out there watching you. And if, and if you think you know who it is, it probably is that person. I think that's why whatever it was chose you guys, because that's your mindset. Super interesting. Yeah, fascinating.